I'm Mary Margaret Myers, American Contemporary Radio, a service of ABC News. If you are an employer, you should know that the federal minimum wage is $3.35 an hour for most workers. If your company is covered by the federal minimum wage law, be sure that your employees are paid properly. If you have a question, contact the nearest wage and hour office, U.S. Department of Labor. This message is brought to you as a public service by the U.S. Department of Labor, this station, and me, Ricardo Montalban. Doesn't he After four years of work, the Winchester Clark County Industrial Development Authority has closed the purchase of land for an industrial park. It's 69 degrees at 8 o'clock. I'm Mike Taylor for KY News. This news brought to you as a service of Tom Perry Realty, Winchester's Century 21 agent. Let Tom Perry find a special place for you. The final purchase price on the 86.5 acre site was about $365,000. Authority Vice Chairman Jim Coleman says the next step is the closing of a sale with the Kroger company slated for Friday. Kroger intends to build a milk processing plant on the 24-acre site. And after that... The Industrial Development Authority is going to try to seek uh, additional industries over a period of approximately 8 to 10 years that employ people uh, in the 150 to 200 range uh, for manufacturing jobs. And that will be our uh, long-range goal. The authority will receive a total of $750,000 in grants and loans for the park purchase and development. We borrowed uh, $400,000 from the Kentucky Development Finance Authority. We've been uh, awarded a grant of $200,000 from the Economic Development Administration. And we have uh, assurances of $150,000 in area development funds through the Bluegrass Area Development District. The authority will be responsible for the construction of internal roads and internal sewage and water lines. The search for a city manager in Winchester continues as the commission is ready to interview applicants. Winchester Mayor Carol Acton says the city received 113 applications to fill the position vacated by Bruce Graham on April 20th. The commissioners met this week to narrow it down. I had it down to probably about 10, and out of those 10, we selected four or possibly five, I believe it is, for an interview or to get references on, and then we'll set up interviews sometime in the next two or three weeks to select probably one of the five. If not one of those, then we go back to the uh, other five we have and uh, go through them. The mayor says they hope to have the position filled by July 1st or no later than the 15th. A federal prosecutor says a second indictment is being sought against former state Democratic Chairman Howard Sonny Hunt. Prosecutor Joe Lawless says it would be a superseding the original 22-count indictment against Hunt and would drop three counts related to the state's purchase of the old Hidden Valley Resort. U.S. District Judge Bernard Moynihan asked Lawless if the second indictment might contain additional charges. Lawless said he was not at liberty to say. The statement came during hearings on a defense motion for a bill of particulars, which requested more information about charges against Hunt. But Moynihan said he will reserve a ruling on the motion until the final indictment is issued. It's 8.03. The fine folks at Tom Perry Realty and Century 21 have a special place for you, whether it's business, farm, or residential. And if you need to buy out of town, Tom Perry can help with their VIP referral system. Your house will be listed throughout the U.S., so if the need to relocate or buy is in your future, call Tom Perry at 744-3000. That's Tom Perry Realty and Century 21. The special place people. State Justice Secretary Neil Welch says Governor Brown may ask the 1982 General Assembly to consider banning Saturday Night Specials. Saturday Night Special is a popular name for a cheap handgun. The announcement drew a cool response from committee members. Representative David Van Horn of Lexington said we might be better off banning cars than handguns. Van Horn was responding to state police figures which show many more accidents in vehicles than handgun injuries. The Kentucky State Rifle and Pistol Association has also expressed opposition to such legislation. State police figures show 512 injuries related to handgun crimes in 1980. A free summer lunch program is being conducted by the Whitney Young Community Center. The program is for youths 18 and under or for the physically or mentally handicapped. The program begins on June 8th and will be conducted at various sites in Winchester. For more information, call 745-2261. 
The official National Weather Service forecast for Winchester and Paris. Variable cloudiness today and tonight with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Warm and humid with highs today in the mid-80s. The lows tonight will be in the mid to upper 60s. Thunderstorms likely on Friday with the highs in the lower 80s. The winds will be southwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour today through Friday. The probabilities of precipitation stand at 40% for today, 40% for tonight, and increasing to 70% by tomorrow. Currently in downtown Winchester, we have 69 degrees. I'm Mike Taylor for KY News.